When I was young, I really saw a lot of destruction. You would see poachers going to trap animals in the protected areas. The pain that these animals go through, a scene that you wouldn't want to look at. Maxon Falls uh, National Park was really well endowed with uh, wildlife resources. However, the park was faced with a serious uh, poaching problem. We had the Lord Resistance Army, we had other militias in the park. There were quite a number of firearms in the hands of civilians. These are very dangerous weapons that does not only cause threats to the animals, but also to the rangers themselves. Julia started as a ranger. He went through all those ranks. He has trained so many rangers. He's a father to anybody in the park. He's the one, he has done it. He's a good commander. Convincing your men, having them move with you, confront the enemy, neutralize the enemy, recover these weapons is quite challenging. Our arrest is between 250 to 300 every year, and we prosecute and successfully convict 99% of this. What drives my father for his work? I think it's his passion. He's an achiever. At the moment, he's studying, at the same time working, simply because he is aiming higher. This is a person who spends most of his time in the park, working all the time. He rarely goes home. I have never seen this man going to his leave. He has conservation at heart all the time. Through our hard working, the future of wildlife here is growing higher and higher. That's why I'm saying we have always succeeded through him. He's a man whom you don't need to push to do his work, and when he goes to do the work, he does it perfectly. To date, we have seen stable increase in animal populations, that is the impact of Julius S. Warden in charge of law enforcement. Every creature in this world has a purpose and a positive one. We should strike a balance of living in harmony with them. These resources must be protected 